Okay. Okay, sitting here, Alan. Tell us about this coffee shop in the offering. On you go. Okay, so this is one of the two cafes that we've got uh, in the university, and obviously here they've kind of gone for a sort of American diner um, feel to it, um, and that's it's quite distinctive, and I think they've probably pulled it off quite well. Um, what we've found is this particular uh, coffee shop tends to attract the staff more than the students. Um, one of the reasons is it generally it's fairly quiet. Um, the coffee that you get um, is from a proper espresso machine and some of the staff feel that that's kind of important. Um, some of the staff don't care, but it is part of the wider offering. It's nice and bright and airy and inviting. Yep. Uh, the, it's got comfortable couches, so you get the feeling that you, you can sit for a while. So if you want to get away from the, the usual routine, this is probably a good place to do it. The uh, main difference, I think, is that in terms of the food offering, um, it's actually quite narrow. You can get something here. Um, they've got a limited range of hot and cold food. Um, it's mainly sort of snack type stuff. Yeah. Um, whereas the other coffee shop, as we'll see in a minute, um, has a much wider food offering. So that's probably the main difference, uh, apart from obviously the look and feel. Yeah, and it also becomes quite a good place because staff tend to just we see that chap over there, his laptop over, and staff tend to come from meetings. We've got a couple over there. Mm. Uh, and obviously it's only half eight in the morning, so it is quite quiet. Well, it? I'm actually watching the door and I'm seeing two or three people come in there I think I need to speak to them. So uh, <laughs> what we find, as you know, is this is where we, we actually do a lot of our trading. This yeah. is where we do a lot of business. You have uh, some of the meetings are formal, some of them are yeah. informal, um, and you don't get that or we don't find that um, sort of vibe down at the other coffee shop. They're so just waving there to them to buy services, guys. <laughs> so that's who, a good example. Exactly who we need to chat I know they want to chin us about a couple of things. So the, the point is, I think for us, this is actually a really good place of work um, for us. So the offering for me uh, is, is that this is actually in a sort of extended office business space. Good, right. Okay, let's look at the next one, eh? It's good, huh? <laughs> okay, Alan, before my chat get cold, this is the other cafe. Talk to us about the offering here. Okay, so clearly this is a very different offering from what we saw in the, the main entrance cafe. Um, and that's probably due to the fact that um, if you look next door we've got the library and there's a lot of facilities there that are geared up towards helping the students uh, relax and, and learn in a sort of more laid back way. And I think that's the sort of culture that spilled over into the coffee shop here. Now it's still a coffee shop, you can still get a perfectly serviceable cup of coffee. It's not from a espresso machine, it's from a, a, a vending machine, but it's still perfectly, uh, perfectly good. But what you'll notice is that they've got a much wider choice of food. You see they've so, got the theme going to the different kitchens yeah, yeah. the deli, etc. The so we've got some, we've got some um, quick takeaway stuff going on there. But as you can see, um, you can, they do a perfectly serviceable uh, range of main meals. So in this case, uh, fish and chips. So the students tend to, we find, migrate to this because the offerings uh, better suited to them. And it doesn't just extend to the food and the drink. If you look over here, we've got a lot of spaces that are obviously geared up towards um, encouraging the students to get their laptops or their tablets open and actually start to, to do some of their work here. So it's about eating and education. Yeah, it's more a sort of social thing and what we're trying to do, the research suggests, is that um, the learning, uh, quality of learning is better if we have better spaces for doing that. So we're trying to move away from the traditional classrooms into more social spaces like this where the lines between teaching and learning and, and the social stuff are kind of blurred. Okay, and on that note, thanks.